Take a second. Imagine a world where every single child has access to free, high-quality education. A world where every family has the ability to provide clean drinking water for their kids. A world where your gender, race, religious beliefs, or anything else does not burden your chances to reaching your dreams. A world where not a single soul is living under the poverty line. It sounds like a perfect world. However, I truly believe that even though it might be difficult, it's definitely not impossible. On September of 2015, the United Nations, 193 world leaders agreed to pass Resolution 701, which included a set of 17 goals under the title of the Sustainable Development Goals to be achieved by 2030. It was a process that drew to conclusion three years of fairly robust community consultation program, which saw over 8 million people frame out and discuss the issues that mattered most in their communities and on the planet. They ended up with 17 goals but they came up with 300 issues within that community consultation program. And so tucked within each one of these goals is a fair amount of thought and a fair amount of consultation, which really is meant to represent a studied guess at the issues that matter the most in our world today. And if they were to be achieved, then the world would become a much better place with no one left behind. The Sustainable Development Goals, to put it simply, are a, goal, are a set of goals which are a, set, are a set of 17 goals, which main aim is to make the world a better place. And once they are achieved, then the world will become a much better place with nobody left behind at all. As of today, 200 million kids are not attending school. One billion people live on less than $2 a day. 42 mega rich people own as much money as a collective than the entire bottom half of humanity and not a single country is on track to reaching the goals, which they have all agreed to. With 2020 just recently marking the beginning of the final decade to achieving the Sustainable Development Goals, the world now more than ever is in need of all hands on deck. My name is Ahmed Al-Hajari, and how I chose to affect change is by speaking up, by being the first, and by being a domino. For a line of dominoes to fall, it takes one domino to fall first, leaving the others choiceless to do the same. And we're hoping that the next person that sees this is inspired to be a domino. Being a domino for me started a few years back, when I was sick and tired of sitting on the sidelines waiting for someone else to make the first move, as if my life and my future wasn't affected every minute and day that went by without any sight of change. So I decided to target my impact towards the people I knew best. And weirdly enough, the people I had the most trust in at the time, the youth. Throughout my journey, I served as Secretary General of the Middle School Model United Nations Program in Qatar, where, with the main aim being to embed the Sustainable Development Goals into the minds of middle schoolers from around the world. I was President of the General Assembly in Thaim in Singapore, Secretary General of Thaim in Qatar, some of the world's largest model UN conferences, which some of the world's most largest UN conferences, which aimed to make this world a better place. However, I couldn't stop there. On August of 2015, I had the privilege to be chosen as one of the panelist speakers for the United Nations Youth Summit, which took place in the UN headquarters in New York City. On the topic of merging the sustainable development goals to model UN programs all over the world. And let me tell you, the power of the youth was present in that room. Despite being among some of the world's most powerful and influential figures, the power of the youth was present. And at that moment, I truly knew that the transformative power of the youth is unstoppable. On later that year, I had the privilege to join the Qatari Youth Delegation, which as you guys can see from the photo, is composed out of three-fourths bold, strong, empowered Qatari female leaders to Washington, D.C. to take part in the United Nations Youth Assembly where we met, sat down, and discussed with other youth leaders on topics that could help make us the paved way to success for the Sustainable Development Goals. The, the Sustainable Development Goals. Back in 2001, the United Nations introduced another set of goals, known as the Millennium Development Goals, 
where the main aim being to half the proportion of people living under the poverty line. The baseline was taken from 1990, where 36% of the world's population lived under the poverty line, to 18% by 2015. So the question is, did we reach our target? Well, no. Matter of fact, we exceeded it. With 12% of the world's population under the poverty line by 2015, and only 86 out of 2019. However, that's still not good enough, and the world still has plenty of problems. But the point is to say that the pessimists of the world that believe that we cannot reach the sustainable development goals and make the world a better place, and especially not within the next nine years, are actually not 100% wrong. If we remain business as usual, then we will not be able to reach the sustainable development goals on time. And that's why I reach out to you, future doctors, CEOs, politicians, authors, scientists, to put it simply, the youth, or as they like to call us, Generation Z. Researchers have been looking at the data to see where the change might come from. And the change calls upon Gen Zers. We are currently the largest generation, making up approximately 2 billion of the world's population. We are the most connected, and we see science as a solution. Gen Zers do not believe in fake leaders, as we saw in the rise of the Arab Spring, in Yemen, Egypt, Libya, and Sudan, who were all regimes against fake leaders started single-handedly by this generation. They don't believe in fake news, they don't believe in fake solutions, and they are definitely not afraid to challenge. Science is about facts, so to run the facts. SDG 4, quality education, aims to provide inclusive and quality education for all, promote lifelong learning, and teach basic literacy and social skills. However, if we were to achieve this, then 171 million people could be lifted out of poverty. If all mothers were able to have high quality access to secondary education, 12 million children could be saved from hunger. And if everyone has secondary education, then quality of life could be, lift, could be lifted for both men and women equally. Sustainable development growth cannot occur without education, as only one year of high quality education can lead to a 10% increase in wage earnings, knowledge to grow and build upon our economies, and in increase the reduction of inequalities. So by achieving SDG 4, quality education alone, we would already be taking massive strides towards achieving SDG 1, no poverty, SDG 2, zero hunger, SDG 5, gender equality, SDG 6, clean water and sanitation, SDG 8, decent work and economic growth, SDG 9, industry, innovation and infrastructure, and SDG 10, reduce inequalities. Gen Zers have a lot of vitality. They have more trust in the UN than they do in their own governments. They are more willing to take action, join campaigns, volunteer, donate, or simply post something on their Instagram story. If we are able to connect with the passions of people, connecting with their lifestyles, with their hearts, with all adversity, and if we reunite for the sustainable development goals, mixed with the passion and knowledge that we already have, the action potential of Generation Z can turn into a weapon of mass creation. It's time we take actions in our own hands and demand a seat on the decision-making table. Don't get me wrong. I'm not asking that the minute you leave this room today, you change the world. But instead, I'm asking you to take a look at yourself and make a change. Identify what you've been doing right and what you can be doing more to play your part in reaching sustainable development goals. Find out the, the goals that reach and identify to you the most. Join initiatives, start campaigns, or simply educate yourself and the people around you on the issues that matter to you. Now take one more second and think about how you can become the change you wish to see in this world. Think about how you can impact change starting from the people closest to you. Think about how you can become a domino. Thank you.